lower leg, living anatomy. So let's pop up the first image and let's go for it. So we've got a back view now of the leg, more of a lateral view, it's about three quarter. So let's see what we can do now. We'll work the gesture now of it here. <clears throat> Come on down, so working the, the thigh region, the gesture, in through here, I'm working with polychromous pencils. Just gesture in through here, looking at the knee, area biceps femoris area coming down in through here then it's slightly bent flexed uh, thigh coming down back this way coming on down now to a foot moving slightly away from us like so gesturally okay thigh coming on down through and over nice flexed bicep femoris through here <clears throat> and on down Nice flexed semi-tendinous over through here and on through and then coming through the gastrocnemius will emerge up and through here a little bit now. And we see that knee emerge out of the, the, uh, the vastus and the rectus femoris up above. Coming through here, gastrocnemius to the side with the extensor and the longus, fibialis longus and brevis. Through here, soleus down. Okay, and on through, down to the lateral malleolus, Achilles area, as we just sketch them through here. Try and get a wedge for the foot, I won't go into much with the foot yet, we're going to hit that in our anatomy lessons on the feet and then downward a little bit and through here. Alright, so we have our quick lay in there, and so now we can start to go deeper into this material, slow it down a little bit. So we're coming now, the outer thigh over through here, which is mostly biceps femoris in through here. Remember we're on the lateral side coming on through the head of it here, right? This whole area, okay? <clears throat> coming on down, we get to the apex of it right in through here, okay? And so we can feel this all of it coming over as a tube. So this whole area now is a tube. We get, we keep on going up with the lateralis in what could be the rectus femoris, a little bit cresting over here <clears throat> in this area. Downward and through now. Okay, so we're feeling this pull muscle in through here and it's going to, let me get a little bit wider right in through here and you can start to feel it now the lateralis right in through here make its its first kind of head appearance you can feel it in through there a little bit here as well iliotibial tract would come up uh, above it maybe start to make appearance here let's uh, get this contour here now okay we'll cut into that up and around it gets flatter now because of the tendon and then we can start to come down now to the knee, over here, here to the patella, okay? Make our move around here. <clears throat> we see a tendon a little bit and a condyle, right in through here. Now the patella be a little bit more on the outside, right in through, right in through there. Now this whole thing is like a box in a way. So we've got a tube as well. We've got both, so let me, let me demonstrate and talk about this. So if we, if we simplify this line for a moment, this whole area, if I make a curve, I think of it as a curve, as a cylinder. Okay, this whole thing around, see that cylinder? That's why it's important to study volumes, think through volumes. But, but now, with both the tendons of the biceps femoris, which will be here roughly, ending to underneath now, in shadow, okay, and around that can be thought of also as a box so if we think of it this way here right and then like this as a box we can see that emerge and get a film perspective where the semi-tendinous uh, and membranous are going to be ten uh, the tendon will be over here later on as it comes through right roughly right in there of course right so <clears throat> biceps femoris now 
bulging out a little bit longer. Let me get that through and you can kind of see it under here now. So I'll start to give some little mini contour line expression. Bulge this muscle, bulk it here, okay? Walk it on through here. <clears throat> and then we can see it kind of bump up against the vastus lateralis here. There's a little shading here is going the opposite direction. So we feel this this way, and we can now feel this coming <clears throat> the opposite way, and this will come across the form and over. And this person's particularly fit so that we can get a little bit of <clears throat> divoting up here with the rectus femoris right in through here a little bit. They'll split a little bit up in through there. We can clean this up a little bit now, right over there. <clears throat> So we can see this head of the biceps femoris and then start to see this tendon come down and through and over, right? And so we know we're going to here, right to, to there. How easy could that be? Right in through there, right on over through here. Okay, this will bulge out, this can bulge out this way <clears throat> and over. And so all of this under here now, the gastrocnemius will go up underneath here, right, and attached to those condyles behind, okay, so it's heading out, fingering out, and so now what we get is this coming over and through, right, the gastrocnemius <clears throat> here, coming okay, downward and over, remember that's got two heads, you see a little bit of, you see it right here, okay, right in through there and over now, and so now we can start to shade a little bit of that through here, roughly. Shade that over. <clears throat> here we go. So we start to see that emerge. And you get now underneath here where the two heads would end together, one here roughly. can make a little bit more of an issue than it is there. Here and then over, okay. A little bit through here, and it would end, it's going to end over here now, uh, a little bit wider, okay, and over, and you'll feel now the secondary head roughly in through here, okay, coming over and underneath this little the hooded area so I can make this all cast shadow, or form shadow here, being cast over and then a strong hard edge of cast shadow. Right in through there. There we go. We get that coming in through here. Okay, <clears throat> then around, kind of dimpling where that attaches to here a little bit underneath. We get this contouring through, contouring around a little bit. <clears throat> now let's get this side over here. We have the attachment ending to, remember, this is where the fibia would be now right in through here, okay, over. And we also now, what's attached to the fibia on the lateral side would be also the longus, right, area, roughly coming down a little bit lower now. Here and through here, okay, we get that. And next to it, over through here, would start to emerge now the, the, um, the extensor uh, digitorum longus. I'm about to say that many times. So we come over here now, we find the condyle here, okay, coming through, coming in, okay, back in through the front part of that condyle, okay, of the femur. Through here, they're coming down, they see the patella through here and coming over now to the tibial area. Through here, the skin bulk can start to put a little bit of darker expression here on the darker side. We'll course shadow through here to see that. Pop that out for you. Okay, bulking of that head, and through here it's starting to stretch. Mm -hmm. Right in through there, and then really split in through here.
fastest lateralis into here and over a little bit more shading direction. Okay. <clears throat> I'll keep that red on this side. Generally I like to keep the red pencil on the lighter side for line and a little bit of black on the darker side it gives a nice range of expression. Right in through here where they split, so we got this this undertow, this cavern where the fingers of the gastrocnemius right go underneath. And this splits, this goes under, so this is overlapped here. And this goes underneath it, so this comes out here, the gastrocnemius, the tendon now here of the semi-tendinous and membranous, right in through here. So they connect that little bit of bulginess right in through there. Works pretty well so far. <clears throat> so now we can come on down. Let's finish out this top over here where the lateralis ends roughly in through. You want to bring this down a little bit further. Ends in through here. There's a little bit of toning in through there. We see the head here, right with the end of the bulky part of that muscle, right in through there. Can you see it? Right in through. It's kind of egg formed. Right in through there, a little bit more of a linear expression here. Now let's work the tendon over. All this would get over, okay? So we're still on the side of this. You could kind of come down and give a little bit of contour line here, right in through there, and come over. <clears throat> and then we have the end of the condyle. This gets a little bit softer, right in through here, coming over, okay? <clears throat> right in through. And then we have the bicep femoris tendon. We'll clean up a little bit in through here. I love that tendon. Really tells me, shows me a lot through here. More condyle. You can see that tendon come on down now. Pull. And you can overemphasize it if you want a little bit. Artists can do that for anatomy studies. You have to be careful in your own finished drawings. Do you want to be? You know, anatomically faithful, but do you want to overemphasize that? So you can see master studies, Paula Iulo, Uccello, Rubens, and beyond. There are different times, but we get the idea that they they were studying anatomy, they overemphasized it, and then when they drew for you know final final process, they they de-emphasize it. So it's a tool to help you draw more faithfully, but it's not. I don't think it's an end in itself. It is here for us just because it's, it's, the, it's the concept we're studying. So that's something that I try to get across to you guys, to each one of our students here as well, is that it's, it's a means to an end, but it doesn't solve all your drawing problems. Sometimes they can actually create, unfortunately, new ones. All right, so we're coming down now. We've got the calf. It's looking pretty good in through here, at least part of it, right? And through here, up and around, I'm going to make this rounder. And through here. There we go. Hit that dimpling. And through. Okay. So it's good to know what's going on with your diagrams, and then it's good to now tackle it with your, your study <clears throat> to help you pull this. Now, this whole leg, I'm going to get the rest of the axis of this thickness is right here to here now, okay? So that's the thickest part. So as we come down the condom, remember on the lateral side, we're gonna get a little of the tibialis anterior and a little bit of the extensor digitorum longus over here, right in through here to give us that, that width, that bulkiness that we want, right in through here a little bit. Now the gastroc will go underneath here, okay? And the medial part of it where the soleus is now, uh, Still, the gastroc is going over it, but it gives you this kind of expression. See this over curve right here, that little bulkiness? This will overlap. This line comes in front of this one behind here. So this whole area is a soleus gastrocnemius area, and it curves elegant. It gives you that bulkiness that you want there. Then we can come over here, come on down the same kind of curve, and through here, okay, and on down. I was a little bit long here, it's okay, we'll shorten that up. Take that <clears throat> to here, to here, and we're not too bad, too bad. The lateral condyle, which is lower, medial is higher. Achilles, right, Achilles heel, 
just a little bit maybe. Okay, and over to the side, down and through the leg. Interior, tibialis interior over, through the feet, and I'll just kind of wrap up the feet, kind of like that for now. <clears throat> and so we'll have this coming over now with the calf, over and through, and around, get that bulkiness through here a little bit, feel that range. <clears throat> And so we can see now the pull now, the extensor, the longus in through here. <clears throat> they're splitting up a little bit. So they're kind of, again, like strands, tubes through here running down and they disappear a little bit. So we'll try to be relatively faithful to that as best we can. Been through here, this will come over a little bit so we have the far lateral kind of medial almost front side in through here hit that a little bit we can see that emerge it's like drawing little tubes <clears throat> with our their drawing then we'll come down the calf here the soleus gastrocnemius area on down then we see this right so we get to over here we get this little approach, right? You see that coming through here and on down. We notice now this is the soleus and Achilles line. So we're coming over here now to the condyle, not the condyle, but the calcaneus bone, Achilles all the way now, right in through here, right over and through to the edge, okay? Like so, and then around <clears throat> as we come through. So this whole area gets around. You can see that this wants to turn, start to turn it here a little bit further. Okay. <clears throat> Pulling over. And then we get the malleolus. So we from the fibia now, coming on through to the fibia, right in through here, you start to see that. Well, what's interesting about the fibia, so we'll come here, we'll get that fibial area, right? Right in through here and up and over and through, rounded. What do you notice? You notice that tendon now coming through this back tendon, this brevis, right? Tendon right in through here, right? So we can feel that coming across <clears throat> and over this bulky part of the, of the uh, tendon here and the muscle of the uh, extensor and then of course the tibialis anterior, right in through here, coming on down. And of course that goes back and over. We can kind of get, just give a wedge approach now to the foot and through here. <clears throat> on over. And then what do you notice now about this little bump right here, the fifth metatarsal, that tubercle area, right in through there. Do you see that? Right in through. Let's make an issue of that. Right in through there. There it is. Okay. Of the fifth. I plead. I plead the fifth. There it is. Right in through there. And I'll just kind of get the, the feeling of that foot coming out. Overemphasize that big toe coming up a little bit, but just for effect. This will arch. And through here, this will come back now around. Okay, this that hinging over. And through here, and then this is where that brevis tendon is. Remember, it comes back behind and it comes goes all the way over, right? To that fifth, right in through there. This hollows out a little bit. So we get a downturn here. Okay. Right in through there, we get a downturn there. <clears throat> this will soften as we come around this way now. It's softening up in through here in the fibia. Get softened. Remember the longest and the brevis of the fibi, fibialis are coming through down and through there. So you can kind of see them a little bit. I can't, I don't want to overemphasize it. I guess I could for effect since we're studying anatomy. Obviously, right in through there. So we'll come down and get this a little clearer, cleaner. 
bit, a little bit more. Celius part coming through over here. Okay, and then we come on down a little bit further to the Achilles, down and through here. <clears throat> Heels coming over, and then attaching right, really gets stranded, and you can see that banding across there. Over to now the, down to the calcaneus bone. So this calcaneus bone's pushing over this way, right? Okay, and it's coming through, so it's got a little padding on it underneath, so it gives us that idea. I'll go back to red just a little bit here, through here. Okay, this is going to come through like so, and around. <clears throat> There we go, and you can see now that tendon start to emerge right on top and around the back a little bit through, through here just a little bit. If we play off that just a little, I'm going to make this a little bulkier back here, a little bulkier right in through here to thin this out a little bit as it comes through. This overlaps right in through here, the extensor, right in through, it will come down. Right, and merge over to here and then go to those digits. You can see those tendons a little bit. They come through. Okay, we have that, and then we'll come back down to the calcaneus bone. You can see this area, it's starting to become a kind of a triangular blunt little area. Right in through here, it's pushed off in shadow more. <clears throat> And it wants to sit now firmly on the ground here. It's covered up a little bit, so I'm going to uncover it from the, from the uh, cloth that he's standing on. So it splits a little bit here. But that, that uh, tendon now, the Achilles, will come down and attach all the way down and around and underneath. It's pretty, it goes down there pretty long in through here, so we can start to shade this over. Start to feel that through a little bit <clears throat> as we come down and through. And I want to make an emphasis point here that this gets banded a little bit here as we come down this way so I can go a little bit darker with the contour lining now. Hit a little coarse shadow to show off that gastroc nemius and the soleus underneath. Remember the soleus gives it some soul. Now it gives it some, some uh, bulkiness, some headiness to it when without it it might not be quite as quite as much. I'll make that division a little bit a little bit stronger there. <clears throat> so we have that coming through down now here. And so this whole point of this is to get this to round out a little bit. And right in through here, we feel the band. Remember, the gastroc and the soleus now are, are pretty much immersed. Remember, the soleus is on the starts on that uh, lateral side and goes lower over here. So there's more gastroc underneath here. But it's pretty bulky over here. Right about right here is where it would end. So this little bump right here past some of the highlight. This could still get darker a little bit for that secondary head a little bit so we can get really specific more through here a little bit there we go right about in through here is where it ends and the feeling of that now will come down this will bulge out a little bit further it's hard to see there a little bit further like so and then make its move back over this gets a little bit more flattened here and then we pick up back down that long strand of it down in through here and that gets to down to the the head of the gastroc excuse me the head of the, the Achilles part of it as well this could come out take a look at Rubens drawings Peter Paul Rubens and he really emphasizes these these um, curves even more so I kind of I kind of don't want to do that overemphasize it but just because it he's he's better at it and number two it, it's not exactly 
what I see here, but he, he, that's that's because of his own vision, of course. So this comes down and catches into that tendon of the Achilles, and we've got a lot. We're we're a long, good good ways now through the study. We've come a long way for on this one now through here. This gets a little bit bulkier right in through this area. So it kind of curves out a little bit, then it wants to come on down through here, and then flatten in behind, kind of curve around, just the look of it, right through here. And we'll soften up this fibula a little bit, this process down below. <clears throat> curve it around, that calcaneus bone will come in through here. And what's going on now, there's padding under here, but the bone would come up actually a little bit here. So we can just emphasize that feeling because you've got this little pad here. Do you see it here to get to that fifth metatarsal and that tuberosity, right? You can see how it bulges, just bulges and bulks out. We'll make that a real strong case. And you can see how the tendon now comes down. Do you see that running through? Right here, here wants to really come on down, so let's put a little bit of more shading in through here. This points out this Achilles right in through here, and we'll let it fade to get a little refractive line. Put that down on the ground. This further. So the so area is kind of a triangular feeling in here. <clears throat> there we go, the sternum. Starting to emerge now into here. <clears throat> Coming over, I'm going to separate this a little darker. Right in through here, tibialis anterior. Right in through here, coming down. Just a touch, I'll put these on the ground. A little bit coming over this way. You know, we're starting to really now define this even. Further up, we make another pass. We made a pass at it. Okay. This could come over a little, little cast shadow now on it. And through here, we know the light source is coming from the uh, front right-ish of our composition of this image. Now this pulls through now. So this is the longest area tendon. Right in through here, coming through here, brevis. Right in through here. You don't see them, you don't see the brevis bulk. You can see it break up just a little. Just a little, I'm gonna make it overemphasize it just a little. Right in through there. <clears throat> Get the gesture of these toes a little bit. These grabber, all these toes are like grabbers. They grab the ground, they come up, and then they point downward, come up, point downward. And the big toe wants to point up. We'll talk, we'll get into that at a later date soon. <clears throat> From when I made made this video. And then this this wants this leg is gonna turn back now. It wants to turn this way. Come back around. So you can see the extensor over here. Pull over. You can see it pull around a little bit. Through here, we can separate these out a little bit further now. Coming through. Okay. Let's pull this back now and shadow a little bit. Through here. head out now. We'll feel this head splitting of the two gastrocnemial heads right in through. Here this will come down a little bit, contouring, and this will come over. You can use a combination of shading techniques, a little value, shading and a little cross or hatching if you want to as well. Through here a little bit further. Okay, coming through. 
extensor and the slightly the most lateral part of the tibialis, if at all, and through there. It's debatable where we would see that or not. Could be reading that wrong. It's pretty close to the tibialis, just right in through here to that bulky part. Okay. <clears throat> Soften up that edge a little. That line's a little harsh. <clears throat> there we go. Get that secondary part of that solvus coming in. Down to that line. Get a nice tighter line through there. <clears throat> so the soleus part here, this little secondary part, I'll make I'll overemphasize this a little. Right in through here, you could feel that downward trend of all that. Remember I talked about that in the diagrams. This would come over, and this is kind of the edge of that gastrocnemius area where we come down the longer trend towards the Achilles, right down in through here. And so this could come over. You could emphasize this this way, like so. And you could pull this up by the head a little further now this way, a little too if you wanted to uh, as well. You can do it many different, many different ways. So I'll start to put some tone over here. Emphasize this over. Come over here to this edge, really tighten this up. <clears throat> Catch that edge, really hit my contours. In through here to distinguish a little bit of this anatomy. In through here, these fibialis longus, the extender, the extensor digitorum longus, and then a little bit of the what I think is the tibialis anterior coming through and over. A little, a little bit bulkier right in through. In through here just to make that work for me. Just a little bit more. Right in through there. <clears throat> to give a little background tone and we can get a little cachetto going in through here. It's basically kind of triangular, isn't it? Because of that wedging of the of the foot is a triangular wedge through here. <clears throat> get a little of that cloth maybe. So I'll push the whole thing back in shadow. Let's see if we can clean up this Achilles a little bit. I'm not quite finished here. I want to go a little bit further, show you this fibia coming up here. And then it's fibia, but it's also tendon material coming in through. There's more going on here than what we can, or what we want to study, but you'll draw what you see too. But then you have the brevis a little bit. You know it's in this area right in through there. <clears throat> then I'll hit a little bit more with the contour line through here. Just be careful. Emphasize those points where they come together, maybe overlap. Soleus sort of, well, not really the soleus, it's still these tendon, these muscles inside. Tibialis anterior, in through there. Through here, core shadow. Strengthen that up a little bit. And we're just about ready for a little bit of light now coming through, bicep femoris, check everything out, see how we're doing with the drawing, step back from it. Maybe I want to emphasize this downward plane here, a little bit further, okay. Side plane of this foot a little bit, coming through, merging. So, <clears throat> over on this side now, the, the fibula coming around it. I want to clean this up, cut it through contour lines and through here. Make sure we see that clearly and cleanly. Here's the bone, 
Core Shadow and then Cast Shadow right in here and it fades really quickly. And then right in through here is the tendon now of the brevis, Fibialis brevis. Remember moving. It's moving over here, we get gets lost a little bit. It's not like the diagram we draw all the way through. That's what makes it look different, arbitrary. And now we have the little bit of that beginning of that tarsal right in through here. And it will attach down on top of it, right in roughly where I put my point. Of the, of the dark. There we go. And I can start to use these little points of interest now for effect to clean this drawing up a little bit. Okay, let's clean this cast shed. I'll make it really strong, edged, coming over nice and curved. See how that curve comes over, comes over to the tendon of the of the bicep femoris. <clears throat> Curve that around. Make sure that's working for us. Catch that in through here, and I think we've got what we need. And now we can put a little put a little light on it, shall we? Let's do that. So it's not very bright. I'm going to put a little bit of light where I'm going to have to erase this out. Let's see. Where's my eraser? Where did it go? There it is. I'm going to take out right here this area where the soleus ends. And the gastrocnemius would end. That, that's got a little bit of a light going. I'm going to emphasize that right here. And I'm going to, I'm going to push it in this direction by a flat, blunt line. And then I'm going to contour it a little bit like that. So it tells me it's turning like so. And I'm going to hit over here too the, uh, the, the tibialis anterior right in through here. And I'm going to overemphasize this little condyle roughly right in through here as well. Emphasize that bony area. Grab that. And maybe just the biceps femoris, a little light right in through here. Emphasize that coming through just a little bit. Just to see that come through. Where else could we hit? Maybe the, the fibia over through here. And I'm going to dig out a little bit of the calcaneus area. Right in through here, I'll come in and dig this this out through. And just a touch on the calcaneus area right in through. Right in through there, and I think we've got what we need, and I think I'll break this I'll even a little bit brighter by going back in this direction, hit that highlight. And I think we've got what we need. So, there's our first study. Pretty nice study, three quarter study of the calf. I'm going to thicken this out just a little bit further. I'm always tinkering with that. This will overlap. Make sure I get a good solid line coming through. I'm leaving a little bit more reflected light here. The back of the calf. Turning this over and around. And I think we're good. Maybe emphasize this that long sort of cilial gastroc curve. Right through here. I think, I think we're on our way to our next one, shall we? Let's go on to another, mostly lower leg study. Okay, let's move on to that. So we have a more medial view of the leg and the thigh all the way down to the foot. So let's get started on, on this one. So we'll come in now get a little bit of the feeling of the pelvis in through here to here, the side at the crest coming on down now. You can kind of feel this sort of bowl-like form emerging like so. So he's definitely on a, on a trajectory this way, kind of leaning over the whole oblique area, torso area, kind of the center part through here really pushes him over. He's leaning over now this way in terms of um, his uh, a lean rectus abdominis, kind of in the middle, middle in through here, navel roughly in through here. So the bottom of the crest, you know, the pubic bone, and then beyond that, probably here, and then the ischium he's sitting on back behind that stool is probably right in through there. So just getting a feeling of finding those crests here, 
two here marking them and that puts you down that kind of the box of the bowl right is through here so I'm not drawing all of it and through there that's what I'm thinking though then the gesture coming on out roughly through here coming through we get a nice feeling of the adductors don't we here to roughly in through here kind of marking where the patella will be and I'll judge that through I'm just going to put a little bit of the the leg on this side not a whole lot this is coming out this through this area just to get a feel for that cylinder as it comes on through here and around he's up higher this is all adducting out and, oh abducting actually adduct in through here this will come up way up and over and through down and over up and over so I'll try to draw this as if the chair is not there too as well so that buttock now the the pubic crest would be here the tuberosity part of that right in through here and then the the kind of movement of that cresting area up to the the crests of the ilium here genital area roughly right in through here and you might get the ischium coming out the foreman just the bone part of it back in through roughly in through there so the buttock now what you get you do get the glutes out through here so they're kind of on a trajectory down for right now kind of right in through there so just feel my way through that now we're coming through to get to the gestural volume keep it real light of uh, our leg and through here downward and then we have the from this downward motion we have that move from the patella down through the bone now to the calf to roughly the foot out and through here a little bit of it's covered by the platform it's on it's actually coming back in just a little bit kind of like that so we see that so we get this feeling of all this moving through so this whole thing now is kind of a cylinder we see this kind of coming down emerging just can you feel the simple cylinder of it all running through here and over so we'll, we'll, we'll simplify greatly all this for now because we're going to go and get more detail with anatomy on it so here's kind of the turn of the cylinder up so we see the biceps somoris, like the semi tendinous and membranous through here, and we'll just create a line for a cylinder through now, and then roughly kind of finish it off up and through there. Okay, you have an angle. Then you can think of it as a box if you want. I see the box here, right in through here with the patella, kind of the medial part of the medium part of the patella, medium down down from it, and then here's the top of the box coming through like that if you want. And then the side now of the box is here and over, right? So we see that, we see that, we see that. So these are instructive in order to help us. And you can see the rectus femoris really, really coming up nicely into the tip of that crest. About right in through, right in through there as we mark it. So we can come down there, hit this, start to feel the outward uh, feeling now of the sartorial area, semi-tendinous membrous area, gracilis area, and then we can start to get this calf in through here, the gastroc, and then we feel the femur, don't we, right in through here, excuse me, the tibia, tibia, right in through here, okay, coming on down and through, and then we're going to start to feel the muscles of the extensors, the tibialis anterior coming in through the toe, Back in through here, just getting that gesture coming up on through the big toe, little toes coming down, smaller toes through here. We'll get that line coming through and over. And so we're kind of on our way to, to start our anatomy study, getting our gesture and through calcaneus bone through here, up and over. We'll mark that phalange and tars metatarsal right and through up to the calcaneus and over. Now we're on our way to, to kind of getting getting what we need to, to start our gesture and then now through to our to our study and through here so let's break this down now further so first thing I might see is the crest up in through here okay of the pelvis okay we're coming up in through we see this the top of that crest in through here and we know that's where the the uh, iliotibial tract in the tensor fasciae are on the other side now so as we come across here we get the oblique 
sitting now on top of it. You can start to see all that emerge through here. We can start to come up a little bit further with that. This bowls around over here. And I just want to get the other side of it, the feeling of it. So this comes across like so. Okay, and it's hidden behind. It's probably about right in through there because the leg starts to overlap that and we get some oblique bending now over here. You can see his form bending and so this this starts to come in and over to the the linea alba of the rectus abdominis and this of course they start to change and they turn up and you get a little bit of the side oblique which is nice coming out and it gets starts to get broader and through here and that's enough for the top of it. So we'll come on down now this pelvic girdle right in through here you see more abdominal muscle pulling down pulling down and right, right where the pubic hair ends that's pretty good feeling where the tuberosity of the pelvis is okay so right in through here the tubercle remember that area the pelvic crest coming through so we'll feel that in the genitals the male genitals here, the penis and testicles, will hang uh, underneath that gird and structure underneath that a little bit. So I'll just kind of just kind of feel this in for a moment. Just, just that's enough for now. Okay, then we'll come back up. You can feel that curve, can't you? Right in through there. And then we start to get the attachment to the femoris uh, bulging in through here, sartorius area, and all this gets a, a nice line, opposing lines through here as we run run through this study, up and over, <clears throat> underneath here and through. And then this these adductors will come up and want to start to attach outward here, through here, and over. And they will kind of bulk up as they Attach since they're being squeezed and pushed up and we get this over and through okay now underneath here what do you see this you start to get underneath and you know that's the semi tendinous and semi membranous coming out we're just going to hit the shadow of it right for now right in through here okay so we see that emerge <clears throat> And then what we would find, now this is flattened out, we would find a little bit of the buttock flattened too underneath. I'm going to just draw that. We can't see it, but I'm going to draw the glutes pretty flattened up underneath just to give us a picture. So we're taking that chair away just because we, we can. And this will turn. This will turn this way. This will turn this way. And I'll try, I'll try not to fuss too much with this side of it. And we'll, we'll stay on the... This the left side of uh, our drawing, but just to get the feeling of how all this works together, because you can see the the glute back through here, the maximus back in through here, bulging through and up. And of course, if it kept going, remember it would attach to the part of the linea aspera over here of the femur, and then all the way up and around to the uh, lateral part of that pelvic crest, right, and then a little bit down uh, to the uh, top. In back edge of the greater trochanter. How about all that coming through? Okay, so we've got some nice areas to tackle through here with the adductors. So <clears throat> coming off here, let's get a feel for this leg further now. We've got, take a look at this coming through. We've got the rectus femoris tendon coming all the way up, right? It's coming through and it's going to attach over to the inferior part of that crest. So we see this on over coming through here. Look at that. In this whole muscle, right in through here, we can see the, the end of it coming through, okay? Now this is also a little bit of the sartorius too as well. So let's feel it coming down and feel where we go with it. So we're coming here, right? And we know we're coming down, we're starting to get across the muscle in the leg right into this little pocket under here, right? So we feel this little pocket in through here, okay? And we want to come on down further. So we take a look at this here. I'm a little bit long, so I'm going to shorten all this 
a little bit in a moment, probably just a touch of it, right in through there. So we always want to adjust our drawing. <clears throat> right in through there, we can tell where the sartorius comes through. Right in through here, we get a little pocket of it moving in through, and then we get over to underneath the the uh, tibia right in through here. Okay, so we'll come through, we'll readjust, readjust the drawing now as per needed with our, our structure. And we have the patella here coming through. You can see that patella side of that. Look how it looks like a nice little shieldy kind of pan shape side of it here. This is through there. And then the bottom part of that tendon and ligament coming on over. And then look at that tubercle right there. See that really divots, divots in and then divots, divots out here right to there and then we're on over okay and then we get kind of to the side of it right on through so so you got you see where i had to take off enough now we're coming through here to the side and we get to the medialis a little bit of that condyle the medium part of the condyle over there we go and so all this pulls down with the leg right in through there so let's get the top of this leg. Let's forget about his hand. This gets bonier, more tendon, right in through here, right? And then we might get a little bit of the femoris now on top of this, right? Coming over and through, up and over and through here, and then kind of just cascading back this way. Now over, okay, and bulging up in through here, and where the sartorius, all of them kind of meet in this area and they're going in different directions. The sartorius is coming up all the way to the top of the crest, which is a little higher up and through this area, right? The superior aspect of it, okay? And then the rectus femoris is coming down to that inferior part. That's important to know and distinguish, but they do come together. So now we're gonna get, we're just gonna put all this in the shadow, first of all. So this is turning rectus femoris, and then this is medialis, vastus medialis right in through here as it turns okay turning 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 we'll get that shadow shape going right in through here okay right in through there and over okay and come down simplify the shadow a little bit condyle right in through here okay turning and then over then you get this little pocket of this condyle area and that's where the end of them, end of the two together, you get cartilage and you get some fat pockets, but not a whole lot in this model, quite frankly. Um, and over, and that's where you get the further movement of the sartorius and the gracilis hanging on tight now. And through here, all this will go in shadow. We can pull all that in shadow. Okay. And this bulkiness with the medialis. The sartorius are making a play together in through here and down. So all this will go now in shadow through here. Okay, so we have that coming through. And then we come on down here. We get this nice curved line. And what is this? Right in through here. This line is gracilis sartorius in through here. Okay. And we get this ending point and we start to get around here now on the condyle area of the bone we're getting in closer to the shin on this side but all up in here now is all that connection to the tibia the sartorius the gracilis and remember the semi-tendinous and semi-membranous too as well so we get a lot of activity this this comes over through here so i should start getting a little darker in through here, this comes over now, like so. We'll hit a little bit of this core shadow in through here, okay, like so. This comes down in this direction. So I'll just shade it first and then give a little bit of a little contouring around it. That's probably the best way to do it. In through here. Rectus femoris really bulging in through here, and that's where it gets bulgy, where you see the sartorius area 
and also the Erectus femoris. Pretty fascinating. Nice red running through, running through there where they, where they emerge over there as well. Then we get this coming through now, the split, okay? Look at this division here where the medialis ends over here, okay? Where I'm making it darker, right in through this area. See that division in through there? That's where the medialis is ending, and that's kind of that side of the leg too. It's not kind of, it is. And then we pick up truly the sartorius. Can you see it right here now? Here, and then also here, bulging, okay? Outward, okay, actually a little bit there. There we go, okay, through here, up and around. And we see it bulge, coming through that belt-like little form and through there, <clears throat> coming on down. Then we get into that condyle break, right in through here. And we have the gastrocnemius and the soleus. We'll pick that up in a moment. We're doing the upper and lower leg a little together here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's keep on going here and let's see this area as adductor, right? So we've got the magnus, we've got the longus, and we've got the gracilis making a play into here, breaking up a little bit. And they're going to come down. Look how they bulk right here, and they're gonna bulk over. Whoops, a little broken pencil. And so we can see this adductor here now <clears throat> with the sartorius meeting together. So we see the sartorius up and through here. So it's pretty powerful. Anatomy just kind of coming, coming, coming right at us and through here. And then right nestled up to here is the abduct abductor group. And it, triangular in nature, so if we kept going diagrammatically all the way up to the iliopsoas, really about in through here, up through this area, and we get that little gap, and then we're going to have the pectineus. Now, it's not going to break apart because it's just not that developed generally ever, unless you're a bodybuilder type, right in through here. So this little area where it gets a little darker, can you see that just barely, that's the iliopsoas region. And so <clears throat> the rest of them triangle across and attach, remember, attaching over to the, the uh, cleft, the pubic uh, crest in through this area. Okay, so we get that. Then we come across this, this belly region. You can see where we get this shading now over and across through this way <clears throat> on the, uh, the belly. Of course, the belly button navel is going to be buried in the fold roughly in through, in through here, up and around, <clears throat> through there and over. It comes around through. <clears throat> so this is good for that to see that abductor. Now, running through here, it gets buried by the testicles. In through here, we see the rest of that cascading here. That's the shadow line coming through, but the actual abductor now comes in through here underneath, okay? Up and over. It attaches the gracilis would be in this area, right in through here and over. And then we get a little bit of the separation now of the back to the semitendinous membranous area, okay, because we're on the medial side. And then, of course, right in through here now, the glutes are right up in this area. It's pretty powerful. Right in through here, this ends semitendinous membranous. This comes through, <clears throat> kind of has this roller coaster look to it, it's a beautiful look to it. And we have all this. So, what I'm going to do now is put all this in shadow tone. Okay, right in through here. Now we get this okay, shadow <clears throat> across the adductor, right in through there, and up this coarse shadow right up in through here. And so let me have, I'll have that now, and then we'll get the rest of that now in shadow. We'll, we'll pick up now the, <clears throat> a little bit more of the contour here, okay? Coming through and on over downward, we see that is the biceps femoris back there. Keep it through here. Right around and over. <clears throat> Which is pretty powerful through and through here. And then you see that semi-tendon to semi-membranous starting to become a tendon in through there. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, we have that. Of course I'm going to break a pencil. And through there, I keep breaking pencils and I have to cut sharpen and I forget to cut them out 
people have to watch me sharpen pencils, so I'm not going to cut. I should have more going, but I'm just, I'm just lazy to have a bunch sharpened. So give me a moment here to sharpen up that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> So you can develop quite a heavy hand at times, like I do. There we go. Okay, so we come back over <clears throat> in through here and around around that cast shadow on the adductor. Right in through there, we see that, and all this is going to be buried back in through here. Core shadow, right up and through and over where the testicle would be. We're just taking that off so we can see. <clears throat> underneath that anatomy where they're attaching right in through here and up and over. It's pretty powerful right in through here. You see that? Where that rectus femoris goes up the sartorius and then we get into the adductors, a gap. The iliocellus is up and through here and we get that gap. And we go down the line of the pectineus and the brevis. The longus, of course, and the magnus and the gracilis at the end of all that, so that through there, a little bit more in through here to take on that. This trim's a real strong angle in through here. We pick that up <clears throat> underneath, pretty powerful underneath that sartorius region in through, in through here. Now we pick this back up and over. There we go. And now we're back, feeling pretty good in through here underneath a little bit. I'm going to catch this area right here if we take this form and overlap that through there <clears throat> and wrap around more of the adductor and then we get a little bit again the glute coming back now around in through here pretty powerful and in through that area roughly <clears throat> well, this can go back now more shadow Contouring through here. <clears throat> and around. <clears throat> so medial, uh, vastus medialis in through here. The vastus, one of the quad muscles. And here's where it really gets to the side of it, doesn't it? So we see this. And so all of this now, you can see the shading, the toning wants to pull this with some nice contour lines. See how we can pull that down. And we really get to the side now of this muscle in through here, and we see the sartorius work past it and on top of it, right in through here, and we come up even further to get to that shadow underneath here, okay? And now we've got the patella, so we'll go back, I'll go back and take my red average through here with the patella, and through here we've got a little shadow because the light source is from the top left, a little bit in front of the model. So this starts to smooth down a little bit. He's got a hard edge. A little light will pop on there a little bit later on. Now a downward trend to the patella, right? And then we get to the ligament and also the tendons of the vastus muscles hanging on to it. And that's really starting to get to the side of it. These turn in through here. Now we can get to the lower leg. We're doing both the upper and lower, really. <clears throat> and these through here, a little straight line and through there. Now, let's get to the lower leg in through here so we can take this down below now. So we're coming back down. We want to get, you know, the first thing I get is the gesture, and I had to change that. And so we've got that. I think that's working pretty well. And with that shin area, right? So on this whole side of, the, of this area of the calf, the lower leg, remember this is that hard part of the, of the tibia that's curving at that S kind of curve in, in this uh, perspective. So now we come over here, we're going to grab that, grab over the bone, the tibialis anterior now, so we get to the middle area, the front area. And so now we can grab back here, okay, grabbing back here where the gastrocnemius is and the soleus, right? The uh, gastroc sitting on the soleus and come in through down below to get our, our axis line in through here, that widest point here to over to here, right in through there. We'll get that, and this is like an egg form in that inside that box or that tube, however you're conceiving it. Right in through. So there's that bulkiest part of it right in through there, heading out. Okay. Then this is hard to see, but the soleus wants to turn this way. It's like this, 
versus this. So here's the gastroc. Here's the soleus. They're, the gastroc's over all this, but we get this kind of pull that's kind of a nice line right in through here to turn this over to get that, that kind of extra, extra uh, uh, bulkiness right in through here is a little change. And then another one, just barely. So it's a curve, it's an indention, and then another curve out, and then slightly just another one coming on down. And that's going to get us to the Achilles heel back in through the calcaneus bone all the way in through here, snugging tight, right, all the way, and then back in through his leg in through here. And of course, we, we don't see up through that because of the perspective. We see a straight line kind of in through there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can... I can imply it with a nice little straight line. Sometimes I'll just do that little platform or just something to show where that's hitting on that line a little bit. I like to use rulers, you know, from time to time or straight edges. So now what's happening here as we come up, you can see where I missed it a little bit uh, earlier in my gesture, which is fine. You always want to change. Your gesture needs to be flexible or you need to be flexible, excuse me, to your gesture. So coming back up the side of the condyles, the side of the tibia, fibia in the femur area. In through here we have those ligaments coming in. Sartorius gracilis and we're really on the side of now the, the femur in through here coming down those condyles. We can put a little coarse shadow as the light ends the shadow begins in through here coming on down coming on down further right and then there's that area in between there now where that tibia gets shaved off. So remember in our diagrams when we had those lines going back kind of like this, where they got shaved off. Everything is pulling it back in that direction. So we're really pulling back our, our bone and our form. And you can see it now here, in this whole area, right in through there. As it starts to come on down, it's really curved, kind of a curved bone to support all that tension that it's gonna get from uh, leg, leg movement, etc. Now, <clears throat> this will come back up to so this calf muscle here. Let me get this outer line because we can see that orange line is too thick. Down and through here, <clears throat> we've got tibialis interior. We've got tibialis interior on our mind now. This will come up. This will tend to be here. And then we're going to get this now as our shadow shape. You can see how egg formed that is in through here. It's kind of a head in through here. Back on over now. And you see a little cast shadow. Why do we get a cast shadow here? Because we get a cast shadow from a little bit of this condyle right up in through here digging into the leg and turning this way. This turns the other way where those tendons come in, the sartorius and the gracilis come in too in the muscle and the tendon of that and then they bend fold over. So what we get is this and that acts as our cast shadow in there. So we have a harder edge coming through. Then we can come on since we're on the shadow side. We'll go now a little darker here We'll tone that in. You can start to learn to tone in some background and lay in your form shadow really quickly. You can do it all with the same motion a little bit here. That was a pretty cool idea when I was shown that in undergrad, my undergrad days as a student. It's like, wow, that's cool. So you can kind of get this going together all in, in one shot. So we have that. We'll come down here. This goes. This will peek underneath. This starts to turn down. Okay, this underturn is telling us that. <clears throat> and so we get now, to slow this down, this is the shin bone, the tibia. I really don't like saying shin bone, I should just say tibia, but it is your shin, what we think of your shin, and it's getting really flattened over because there's no muscle there. Then right in through here, I'll make a little extra divot. This little triangular area right in through here, there's where that gastrocnemius is soleus. Remember the soleus is hanging out on the, on the other side of the fibia coming down and it will be opened in through here. This is mostly all gastrocnemius up in through here. Then we come on down. You can see a vein there. It's not a vein. It's not a tendon. That's a vein there. <clears throat> Moving through. This is all tubercle, the bone of the, of the uh, tibia. Right in through here. And it's going to take you on a journey. Where is it going to take you? It's going to take you on the medial Malleolus. Why? Because that's what the malleolus is. It's the tibia. 
right in through here. So it takes you on that journey. So you can see the bone coming on through, coming on down, right? And then we'll just kind of put some contour lines right in through there, okay? All the way down to the, the medial malleolus. Remember, that's the higher one. So the lateral malleolus would be in that direction, for sure. For sure, right? Okay, so right in through here, we've got the top of the tibia malleolus there of the ankle, okay? All this will be now in shadow. We can put that in shadow as we're coming down, so taking it slow in through here. Slowing this down, form shadow in through here. Right around that, we'll cast this over here. Form shadow in through. A little softer in through here. Here's that head, so it kind of bulbs around. You get that head view. It's a little bit darker in through here, then it gets some, some uh, uh, reflected light. Coming up and through here and over. Get that line, that line through. Okay, so we've got that working for us. So we're almost on our way here. So let's feel now coming down. <clears throat> the malleolus is at an angle. Okay, catching the side view, kind of an oval form, blocky oval. What does that do? Remember, it's a hinge joint, so it's doing really this, so coming over. And it wants to catch all this tendon up in through here and over. We'll get a little bit of the hinging. This is going to be thinner out, so to get the tibialis anterior, right? Right in through here. The end of it here, we don't see the other malleolus of the ankle. We get this feeling that this comes across, so we've got this contouring. But we also remember the tibialis anterior, right, is having this little joint, no, excuse me, this tendon, and it's going to get us over here, remember, underneath and underneath to the base of that condyle, the toe, which is over right up, up, and, up and through here, and then we get to the knuckle through here. So this, all of this is pulling in this direction. So I'll just flesh out a little bit of this, just generally the foot. I don't want to go into too much more detail. All this is going to be shadow here, okay? Then we get this knuckle condyle in through here and up and around, and through there, like so. Okay. Then we're going to get a little bit around us in through here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of gesture for that big toe right in through here, and that'll be enough for that. So, <clears throat> coming back over, now we're on the, the uh, left side, the lateral side, so we're starting to get now the feeling of the in tibialis anterior, right? So it's on the tibia, on the front side, so we're on the front now, and then we're just down, down like so. Connecting over through here, this overlaps. Just remember that, that's going to overlap and come through a little bit. Then we got the malleolus again underneath. And we come over a little bit. There we go. Through here. Okay. Wrapping around. Bulge that out a little bit and it gets, this gets bulgy back here. It's a little bit more of an angle, you can see. Pop this bulge in to there, all the way through. We'll get to that Achilles down in through here and wrap around that Achilles with that tendon over and through there. <clears throat> we'll put some flex, just some emphasis points with our contour line. Three, three finger gap right in through this area, coming in through and over. We'll hit this now really strong with the medialis right in through here this muscle right in through underneath we see it underneath tendon down below and then we see the patella all that's all that's tendon up in through here more exposed flesh coming on down we'll put this in a little bit more shadow through here it seems to be working pretty well for us there we go like so <clears throat> Coming on down to clean this out, clean this up a little bit. There we go, and we can put a little bit of tone in through here. This paper is pretty, pretty, uh, it's got a nice kind of texture to it through here. And under 
underneath. I'm going to go a little bit darker under here. So we'll bring it up and conclude that. We'll put a little bit of a little bit of light on it. Tubercle there where the tendons attach and the ligaments through here. Go a little bit darker. That nice separation between the gastrocnemius and the, the uh, tibia and through here. Really, a, really a, a flat point, a blunt point. And through here, coming down. Okay. There we go. Coming through. <clears throat> I'll just put a little shadow here. There we go. <clears throat> Let's put a little bit of light on it, shall we? We shall. This nice little, you know, this shadow makes a nice curve. Look how soft that form is through here. And this kind of comes down a little bit here and over. A little bit through here. We'll darken this a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's put a little bit of light on here. We can go on to now to another one. <clears throat> so we'll work the top of the patella in through here a little bit, working around, around it through here a little bit of tip light running through there. On the patella, these could come around just a little bit, around in through here and over. On the abductor muscle, through here and around to the crest a little bit. And that bone, you can see that through there, it's pretty powerful. Right in through that a little bit, over, and maybe on the belly, rectus abdominis area, lower area. See that character coming through, <clears throat> and then on the tibia over here, and through this way, and then I'll start to wrap around the bone with the light this way, this direction, kind of coming in this direction, just to get a feel for it. And through there, wrapping around, getting that tendon now. Through there and over the top, getting to the toe maybe a little bit, the knuckle, the big toe, just to feel the, the gesture of it. And I think we're on our way, on our way here. So anything else? Maybe right up in here. I think we've got what we need. And let's catch a little bit of the edge over here. Be like you too will catch the edge. Okay, stupid joke. There we go. Okay. Alright, right in through here and over. I think we've got, got what we needed. Let's go on to another study. So this particular position is very challenging in that you've got a foreshortened thigh somewhat, pelvis, and then you've got the extension now from the kneecap through the extensors and the flexors all the way to the uh, malleolus. So let's take a look now and analyze and draw this particular pose. So let's get the gesture of, of, this, of this working for us. So I'll start in the back portion here and thinking about composing. I'll start in the back here with the glutes just overall in through here. Make sure we've got this working for us up in through here. So all of this is going to be around and over. Make this nice and large through here. So I'm looking at the gestural quality of kind of the hip point of the trochanter um, over to now the knee roughly in this area. So I get a feel for that. It's kind of feeling in the iliotibial tract right in through here to this condyle of the femur. This is almost kind of a, a cylinder this way, kind of like this. If you think about it, over, it's kind of moving in through. And then he's got this very well developed legs, uh, actually. And so the other, the other glutes might be now down and through here over. So get some, you know, gestural quality of that. Then we're going to focus now on this leg. So 
When I'm drawing gesture, now those calves are bulky, there's gastrocnemius in here and the, the tibialis anterior because a couple things, it's leaning on that, that uh, extra foot there. But if we can just get the overall basic form of the flow of that to the condyle, condyle from the now the, the buttock line, the glute line, to the condyle of the, the uh, lateral condyle on the outside is about here. So we're feeling that, that tibia now all the way to about right in through there, kind of a boxy look to it, and through here as best I can for now, and then later on we'll get really specific with it, and we'll come over, this hinges over, remember, so it's low here, higher will be later on here, but in, in perspective that can change. We'll bring down that foot, that kind of boxy triangle here, here, wedged kind of aspect, uh, boxy triangle or wedge, and through here, then over, Okay, bringing that foot over and through here, then around that foot and up and through. Now those toes will come over and over, and in that big toe will want aspect will want to come up. So this feels like this, and over through here and down and through and around. And I think we've got just the general lay. And now he goes being the camera enough in through here. The the figure wants to come over now, really turn over here. All right, we get into the shoulder. So this all wraps around and through here like so and of course the head would get you know over and through here a little bit later roughly yeah roughly and through here we're going to leave that off and just focus now on what we see over here with the leg and the thigh the upper leg and the thigh so we'll start with the pelvic region into here so we're looking at the back kind of the hip pointer or the uh, acetabulum roughly in that area. So we're coming over here and we see a little bit of the back of the crest and moving to the lateral, the front and through here. So this would be kind of a box with the ischium now in this direction. So everything is here like a box and then over a little bit. So here's the break, here's the break that I'm seeing right in through and over that way. A little bit light but you can start to make it out. And so this is where the ischium would be along here, right? down and through because you see this big part of the trochanter and then down and through here we're going to get over to the glute actually so we're going to hit that glute around that's going to wrap around and over and behind that a little bit uh, as well and then later on this glute will end and then we'll come with the uh, semi tendinous and membrous up up on through right now we're just going to hit it a little bit straighter like so for now Wrap around that, coming in through. So we're thinking of this kind of as a boxy tube. This is the semi tendinous is going to be bulky, but it's going to want to come back because it's going to attach uh, to the uh, the medial uh, condyle area of the of the tibia fibia region over there. The tibia, <coughs> excuse me, fibia. Um, so coming in through, you get a big whopping shape of it here and against the lateralis. It gets you really bulky, especially more well-developed men and also women are very athletic. You get this big bulky Rubens, you know, kind of thing going. So the vastus lateralis will come all the way up and you, you, you kind of see where it ends. It's going to end on that trochanter and then we see it bulge a little bit here. And the trochanter is a little actually underneath a little bit here later on, kind of like, kind of like this, doing doing this underneath, kind of up a little mountain here and around, and so we get more of it. It really doesn't make a strong appearance on the bottom until what? Till right about here. So it's a real tube-like, right? So we can take that tube and just say it's a, it's a cylinder now, and so it's cylinder going in this direction, and it's going this way. Okay, and it's the end of it roughly down and through here and over and this is where it starts to get bulky where that calf is so this is going to have to move a little bit which is fine see how I can quickly move that around to our needs so we have that okay and then we get the head of that uh, uh, lateralis right in through roughly here on market and then coming on down okay so we feel that and over roughly right on through, then we start to feel the end of it in through here. Bulge in through here. This will be 
This will be shadow in through here as it's coming around. Shadow tending through here. Okay, meeting up against the the condyles and the tendon here as well. This will start to flatten. See that flatten further. Right in through this, it's all flattened to get to tendon. And what we're looking for is a side. I need a side here at the condyle. Right in through there. It's my box now. My box wants to turn over and do this. Okay, so it wants to turn over and go in that direction. Over and through here. Coming on in through and up. And we start to get a condyle. Top. Patella region. Then through here and on over. We don't want to get too detailed yet. We see a tendon now. Right in through here. Biceps for more. Through here. Okay. This was actually the biceps femoris. I'm sorry about that. I think I said semi-tendinous and members. It's biceps femoris because it's on the on the lateral side. Forgive me. Drawing and drawing and talking. Not easy. So we're coming in through. This would be a little bit bulkier now. Okay, we're coming up here to the gastrocnemius, biceps femoris, bulging and crashing in together those tendons in through here and on over. You can see where it starts to side out here. You can see there. And we really get the almost the extensor really. It's still oh well the longus, the um, the uh, fibialis longus since we're on the lateral side of course. Through here we're bulking out. Now take a look at this. So I could keep coming down, watch I will for a second, but right in through here I feel this egg form. You feel it this egg here, the egg form here, okay? Out and over, okay? through, and this is going to flatten just slightly here because it's foot's underneath here. Get that, just that foot direction roughly in through here and over. <clears throat> and down. There we go. I'm going to top that out a little bit. Get that to come over and that's in front of that heel and through there. It's not that important for now for this study. <clears throat> so, the bulk of that calf you now it goes behind and in front of that is the condyle of the tibia. And so we can locate our side roughly in through here of our knuckle. This whole area right in through the top plateau now, about right where that line is. So I'm ready to go to red. Red alert, right? So we can start to say, okay, a little darker tone in through here. <clears throat> So we're working our way down through side of the condyle, side of the tibia, on the lateral side. So we know that the fibia is behind it, right in through here. And we get that strong break between both those, both the thigh now and the, and the gastrocnemius back here. Okay, so we get that back. Going back here, coming down and through. And then we get now the longest up and through here. And you can kind of start to see it break and emerge a little bit right in through where it's ending up in through here. We know that that is going up to the fibula up and through, up and through this area, right in through there, don't we? Sure you do. Okay, so we, we see now the lateralis split now here from the biceps femoris iliotibial tract area roughly. Okay, it's not in the middle. There's more space here than there is here. It's, it's slide, but just a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, so we'll shade up this way a little bit further. This will come over. We're better in this direction, actually. And through here. This is going to get narrower. And through here. A bit bulkier. Up and through and down, and then start to flatten roughly in here to get to that tendon up and around. So we gotta had to do all this so we could get this more accurate. Coming up and through here, right? And over to the top of that area. It's not the patella, it's the part of the top of the femur. It's not even the knuckle condyle. Now they're coming down and they're gonna turn, okay? Like so. Here's the outer edge and through here. And we get to the plateau of the tibia. And there, the knuckle would be Facing is probably about like that of those two. As a matter of fact, we can kind of see it because we see the tendon 
coming over here it's like this another cylinder just pulling like that do you see that around you just kind of have to look for it and trust that you start to then know it and how do you get to trust yourself experience and time and more drawing practice so we get a little patella now I can see it now merge up here that gives us a little bit more of an anchor so it gets softer running through here up and around and over soft and through here okay it's hard to see the bottom doesn't really show itself so we'll leave it but this is a little stronger area harder edge right in through there okay the tendon here coming over to the side here tendon pulling over you can see where that really pulls nicely <clears throat> so we start to see that then we start to see the gastrocnemius here over this is the gastroc part of it okay this is the gassy part another bad joke alrighty I'm on a roll today my wife would be embarrassed if I said a gas joke alright so keep going here forget I said that there we go longus in through here starting to make an appearance okay see how it bulks this out a little bit because it's getting squeezed down resting on that that leg and then we're coming down that's going to get shaved down a little bit okay and through here gonna keep going all the way <clears throat> see how we did down here pretty good maybe i'll come in just a little bit look how bulky now the lateral malleolus is the condyle the fibula look at that right in through there and around and see how it's got a a head to it on the side now hitting the side of the of the foot into here this joint now wants to turn in and over and do this come across we'll find the other side okay we won't see the other malleolus it's way over here but it's turned underneath this is all really strong shin now right in through here until we get down below we could get some tibialis anterior coming down in through here really starting to bulk about so this is kind of shin in through here this skull will get shaved back it pushes over a little bit that's coming down low and then about right about right here right in through there on that on that foot okay we start to get that break of the tibia you can start to see that emerge through here emerge over right and get in here and start to break out and turn underneath the the kneeling point of those two tubercles right in through there and a little bit further right into here we've got another layer of the knuckle and through here this is all of course now turning this way anatomy through here okay so let's find this area this overlaps be careful because this actually overlaps right there okay i'll draw it dark so we can see that <clears throat> so this little area comes over okay and through this area overlaps this and this comes underneath okay right in through here this is all soleus and gastrocnemius through here okay and then it starts to stay bulkier doesn't it right in through right in through there this part of the foot could come the other bottom part of the foot i'm not going to worry about it i'm just going to leave it like that <clears throat> where the toe would be that could change a little bit later so now we feel the bone here coming through and over here to right in through there so it starts to come up come up to its more condyle area and this will go lower right and this will go underneath so we can make that a little bit darker and through here <clears throat> Could put a shadow under here we'll cast shadow like it has go a little darker so we can see that this will get bulkier so i'm thinking of this coming over okay this coming over to through here and a little bit no bulkier so it's a little bit short with that there we go not coming through or whatever that's it missed that that's why we keep drawing.
catch your air as it's running through there. And softer transition through here. Now we're going, getting some things going here. <clears throat> so right about here, do you see that, that bone through? This is getting more to the tibialis now, interior area. This will flatten and we'll start to turn it this way. Start to show that transition coming around and coming around through here. And then you can kind of come in this direction and start to blend it out a little bit. Many different ways to do that. And through and over. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just catch that divot, Look at that strong divot in between the vastus lateralis and the, the uh, biceps femoris. Just want to, stroke direction is important. Should do a video on just stroke direction. How I'm kind of shorthanding these these contour lines around it's important and through here <clears throat> all right so longest right longest and through here the extensor then would get buried by this beefy very beefy tibialis interior now right in through here this very so that the uh, the extensor is in here but we don't see it and it's not very pronounced here it will wind up being not even pronounced throughout the entire drawing, actually. <clears throat> so, how about that? We have that stencer, and then we have the tibialis interior, which is okay, it happens. It's all right to see that. It's not wrong. Matter of fact, you can group these. You can group the fibialis brevis and also the longest, for the most part. They do kind of group together for sure. So we come down here, okay, we get a little bit of, of uh, the brevis, and long, uh, brevis especially, right in through here as it comes over. We can catch this edge a little bit through here, and we see where the glute can make this glute a little bit wider. This is probably a little bit longer, so you keep on being, adjusting to what you need. So right in through here, that's glute over, glute, the ischial part through here, and the secondary part right in, in through, it makes another turn right in through there. <clears throat> so we'll keep going here, around the foot, over, gets a little bulkier, and then around, and then through, it wants to head out, and I'm going to leave, just for the sake of time, I'm going to leave that there. Okay. Just the side of that foot. And through here the talus area, calcaneus area. It's kind of like a wedge. Because <clears throat> we'll get into the feet much, much later. And really go very deep. Deep foot. Big foot, deep foot for sure. Okay. This comes down, it's like a hill, then it comes down. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> this turns in, like so. It's more just now bone over there, that's that bony point over there. <clears throat> now let's get this a little bit more concrete set in. We can kind of Clear this up a little bit. It bulk it right in through here. You see this gastrocnemius. Right about before the thigh break ends here and we get to the glute. Right about here, this bulkiness. I could make this overextend it just a little bit, just to show you. Right there. This will turn in just a little bit and head on over. That's the gastrocnemius. Next is the longest, right there that little break. It's breaking a little bit. So here's your longest running in here and this could be little bitty contour lines. 
in that direction just to show us that coming over. And then they'll kind of tending out the brevis will be, could be a little bulkier. We'll make it a little bit bulkier for the brevis right there. Could use that design to just to go a little further. Use that tip. This paper is very, very much like grater, cheese grater. It's a nice paper. Mm, through here. Then around, this is going to turn a little bit, so we got a little, little value there coming over. This wants to all pull up here on the bone, a little bit of ligament, tibialis anterior, the ex extensor longus, digitorum longus, and through here. So that's working pretty well, so I'll take this line. There we go, a little bit edge your line in through here. Make a little cast shadow across there. That'd be the foot roughly in through here. Just to get a little bit of it more, more so, a little bit larger. Come it over. Big toe into here. Then down and then down with the, down the feet. The feet. Pepe Le Pew, right? <clears throat> okay, so right in here is important, this break right in through here of this interior. So the interior, look how it's pulling over, and it wants to come around with that spine, but it wants to hang on past the spine. So right in here, this little area of darkness, that's where that shin bone, where that ouch point is. Okay, I'm going to call it the ouch point where you get popped there playing soccer or you know messing around or whatever and whoever you're with you bang into your couch or your furniture or you're just kind of an overall idiot like me and just hit things just naturally clumsy at times seriously i'll be walking around my house and i'll just bang into stuff and fall over the dog or whatever happens if you're that way you understand well anyway you you bang your your shin, that's this area right here, it hurts. And so it's showing up here as this little dark divot. And we've got to have that div in there because it's getting shaved down this way still, right? It wants to go back. And then after you get past there, it gets a softer little uh, area. And then it gets into the, this has got to overlap right there. It gets into the gastrocnemius. Right in through there, it's got to have a little, and the soleus has got to have a little little go in there here and then over to there bring that condyle way out really make it shine right there bring that condyle really put a little nice little dark there to let that condyle show up because what's the opposite of that condyle the other condyle medial lateral condyle right of the femur right in through here to make it darker than it appears over because this is a tendon here coming on down biceps femoris how dare you there you are gotcha biceps femoris there you are coming over and around it's going to attach over through here and the longest we got them both going different flavors ice cream flavors if you will so we got them both going on down there they're all there once you know them you practice them, you'll start to, you're like, aha, I see you, I gotcha. You can't hide forever, bub. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm just gonna turn, I'm not gonna finish this, that's enough, right? And then we're just gonna give some contour line expression over here, just to turn that vastus lateralis. That's not the rectus femoris, people can't see that in this view. So there's the lateralis there. And so let's bring out this little area here a little bit further with the, the lateral side of the uh, tibialis anterior. A little bit of bulkiness underneath for that extensor, the longest, over through there. Coming up a little bit more. And we too hard edge with that longest. Okay, so we got that working for us. Working, working it, working it. Okay. And see there, this little area wants to knuckle in under the condyle where it starts to V 
underneath, get a little bit narrower, right in through here. You see that? There we go. That's it. Let's kind of, kind of spray, display that out here. Right in through, just a little bit darker. Just a little bit right in through. Okay. Down in through here. This is turn it over. I'm going to go back to the red here for a moment. This is turn under. This is turning over like a tube now. Over, over, over. Like so. Coming back around. <clears throat> there we go. And under that foot. I'm going to get some dark area where it's touching. Underneath there and here around. Over and under here where it's touching right about there. A strong line to put it underneath. There it is there. <clears throat> So we have that, and I'm going to go one little step darker where that shin bone of the tibia, that lateral side, really starts to go right here. And these want to pull. If you can kind of see the tendons here, pull over. This, we get this little direction. See that little rhythm? It's pulling. It follows this line through. There we go. I think we're cooking just about everything we need. There. A little dark there. Just to make the crease really work for us. This could come across as I render on this side. Put a little atmosphere over here. Just makes it feel like it's coming across even more. This is not quite in the light. Patella, condyle, right in through here. Let me get that little area where it's going to be lighter. I can see it right now. There we go, a little shadow there. So let's put some light on it. There we go. Like Beyonce put a ring on it, we're going to put a light on it. Right here. God, I'm full of bad jokes with this drawing. Just excuse me. It's awful. Here we go. Right to here, then over. Okay, there we go. Get a little bit of that tendon pull to on top of that. Just pulling it over. And a little bit of light here. I'm going to pull over and in. There, and I'm going to wrap. I'm getting a little bit of this this kind of rhythm here. Through here. Okay, and then this is going to feel like this coming down. Mix the orangey. I think I've got everything I want. I'm going to pull out also a little bit of light underneath it here. And this is going to go back to being my last right there. All right. Okay. Um, how about just a little bit of value here? This is kind of the focal point up here of our study. So forget about his all the anatomy back here or the chest area. I'm not worried about that anymore. We'll come across here just to get that richly through. All right, and I think we're, we've got enough before we go to go crazy with it and probably just go do silly stuff with it. All right, okay, so there we go. I want to do one more with you. Okay, I want to do a female one with two legs. I think you'll enjoy this one. All right. Last one of uh, living anatomy with the lower leg and really the upper leg too. We're kind of combining both of them. Let's take a look at this image now. So we have female reclining, and so we'll get the feeling of the gesture now over here and start to feel now where the rectus abdominis is moving through over. 
and then kind of get a feel for where we want to put that uh, rib cage area, well, rib cage area here, but pelvic area, pelvic girl area, that's what I meant to say, over and through here. So for looking through, you can kind of see where I'm thinking of this now as a box. So coming through the pubic synthesis area crest up and through here, this whole area now right in through here, we can start to see now a simple box emerge here and way on over. So you can see this very light, very simple downward push of the box and that get, you could get a bowl out of it too. And that starts to tell me what I want to do with now the gesture and anatomy. So we can come back up the leg now, up and through here and feel this anatomy up and through here. We're trying to make sure we're in the camera here. Up and through, <clears throat> and out down and, and, and over, sliding through with the female leg, coming through there, getting the, the foot to work for us in through here. Okay, kind of a tube in through here. We're gonna get some nice turning and twisting with anatomy over, in through and around. Okay, and then we're gonna come over and we can see now, we can push, here's the center line of the symphysis. It's buried back here behind that thigh. So let me, let me just start this thigh a little bit. In through here, straighter in through here. Gesture over, okay. Beyond the leg in through here. A little bit forward and out, uh, ad, adducting in actually, in through here. So we see that coming in through. Trochanter right in through there. We can kind of feel that over buttock, in through and over. <clears throat> can kind of feel this leg in through. Feel the cylinder coming down. Around she's pulling us back in, not straight, but back in a little bit. In through this way, okay, then over. So we get this position, and we're moving through this way. Okay, the foot and the leg. We'll get that cap a little bit lower, actually. The foot in through here. Calf. Moving back down into the leg, leg position. In through there and over. Okay, so we've got that working for us with our gesture. We'll get a little bit cleaner now with the middle part. So the middle of the bone of the pubic symphysis of the pelvis is about right in here. So we're really in this position. Let's see if I can demonstrate that about like this. So the bowl is opening up here. And so she's about in this position, maybe a little bit lower, right in through, right in through there. So <clears throat> that will help to see that. So a little bit lower. So I'm gonna mark that pubic symphysis bone, the crest of it right in through there. So we're going to come down and over, and then immediately up. The, the inferior, then the, the uh, superior, up and over, through here, okay? And then around. So we're turning in, cresting around this area, okay? So this will crest up and over, and through and get around and down and back over and that'll be enough to what we need. Remember, we keep it simple through that box. It's a good example of what we want to do that for, oblique and through there, and we can start to get the gesture of the trapezius in the back and then we can find ribcage and I'm not going to do that because we're just going to get the rectus abdominis sheath in through here and over. So here's the center of it connecting all the way down and then under about right here where I push that and then over and then we can fill the tenth rib bulging out about right in through here and that would come all the way in to that sternal area and out and over and we could feel it down in through like so. So that would be enough for that. So we have that. Now we want to get a little bit more now slow it down a little bit start to feel a little bit more anatomy coming through. So we'd feel that bone, the trochanter here about right where that shadow is right in through here so we know the glute pulls off and around that over in through here so we can feel that glute around. We'll glute it around here. Okay, coming in through now. And that will start to transition inward as this comes out back into the linea aspera here through. Okay, then we come up and we're seeing that now the rectus femoris wants to attach right in through here to the inferior 
part of the uh, the uh, ilium in through here and over and so we start just to get a, a little bit better outline or design line of our rectus femur. She's pretty bulky, very athletic leg structure going on. So this is the bulge down in through here. Okay, we're going to see that in through here and over. Okay, and in through. And then we're going to get this knee topping off over in through here. Okay, going to get the patella roughly generally right in through there. I'll keep it, I'll keep it soft so we can really go back and carve into it later in through here okay we see now the condyle do you see the condyle right in through here right so that clubbed condyle really so you can see where i could draw it of the femur right in through here then it would want to come back and over this way so all that anatomy the head of the of the uh trochanter would be over here <clears throat> so now we can feel and see the rectus femoris um, in through here, the tendon in through here, right? So we're here, and we can feel it straighten here a little bit, right in there, okay? We can feel this underneath it. <clears throat> we're here. We'll get, pull on that little, make a little extra mark there. And then we can pull downward. That's going to take us down. That would be what you call your hamstring. Here and through here, and it's going to bulge in through. And it's go on and go uh, in behind now the glute in through because that glute's going to want to sheath in through here and then start to take on now the uh, underneath the linea aspera. And then we have now the uh, rectus femoris here, but we also have the vastus lateralis. Now it's attaching, remember, over here to underneath the greater trochanter, right in through this area, so we can start to see the shadow of it right in through here and then through the around the glute and over to get the top of the crest right right in through here and back over to the oblique so we can start to see just to, you can get a shadow pattern mm -hmm. of this going you can see how the, this starts to make a lot of sense that way too through here through here and that's going to turn up to the rib cage later on up and through here to the lats and then to coming down to the erector spinae and through and of course on down to the oblique later on and through here and over and we're down now to the oblique area coming through and over into the side now the rectus abdominis and the oblique on this side there we go uh, slowly just carving it carving it through and up and over all right, so we have that. So now we can get a little cleaner over here. Uh, let's see. So we are over here with the trochanter. We're coming down over here to the glute underneath, and then the vastus lateralis comes up in through here and over. So this bulge, now this is the biceps femoris. This bulge here, it comes in and then outward again as we sheave downward and around. That is the vastus lateralis through here. You get that over and we get a little bit of bulge and bulk in through there and then it starts to come over and straighten a little bit and that gets into tendon now, right in through here, right? And then we get over to that condyle. So it's gonna rest on that condyle and then underneath that, this little turn, we start to get into the wonderful biceps from Morris tendon, one of my favorite little areas on the model right in through right in through there and up underneath that's cast shadow right in through there so we get to see that in through so the, uh, we can now formulate a little bit more of a shadow here right through here and underneath and um, bumping it through they can contour this a little bit you know, great master drawings, long, longer term drawings, these are for educational purpose, but for their own little, just tiny little lines all over, which could be just beautiful and gorgeous. So let me clear up where we're coming through now to that crest here and up over. If we want to hit this, this comes up through now and starts to flatten in through here. And we get the tension fossa lata. Remember the Starbucks, Starbucks muscle right up in through here. Starbucks gives it the tensor fascia latte 
kind of uh, name it, it makes right in through here. Sartorius would come out. We won't see much, too much of it. Maybe in through, make an appearance right in through there. I'll make it just a hair like that. And then this is a straighter area of the three fingered gap where that, that leg has to bend. Okay, and then up and out to get to the rectus femoris. This little bump now here starts to get, we get on our journey to the rectus femoris up and through here. So let me tone this in through here. We'll start to pull this around like so. There we go. That'll get us to there. And over. <clears throat> I'm going to make a little division where that turns in. Okay, so this thigh now. So I'm going to have to move this thigh. So you see where I had it before. Now we have to move it. So here, this is going to move over to where the we move down this area in through here and over. So you have to be be careful what we have. So the thigh is going to be bigger. So it's really here, and it's really here, isn't it? This is semi tendinous membranous. Okay, goes up. And through and over, we can get the bulkiness of the block of the leg. Probably not quite as tall as I had before. Right in through, right in through there. That's important to change. We need to change. This gets a little pocked in through here. This comes down and flattens off. And right in through there. Underneath gets a little bit tweaked. Let's work through. This comes back and over. A little bit bulkier. And through there, so you're always constantly evaluating and then changing when you need to. Right in through rectus femoris and through here. And then down, you notice right in through here that it starts to get a little bulgy where the adductor is. All this will be later on where the adductor will be attaching to here in this area, right in through here to the inner, basically the inner thigh. Then we come up over here, we have that three fingered gap here. Okay, which see how it's a little straighter? So here's our here's a rectus abdominis outer edge line outside here. Okay, and that's going to shoot up underneath the rib cage, right up in through and underneath. Then I'll make this a little basically tenth rib and we go on underneath it down below. I'll make some contour lines to see the show that. So we're gonna go up underneath it now. There. Come back over, straight line, three finger gap for the straight line where that tensor fascia lata sartorius area is. And then we bulge out. That's the rectus femoris. Remember, that's coming up all the way and attaching back over into the, to the inferior part of the ilium. The crest there, over. Come back over, work that design over to the condyle. Here, the top of the condyle, the femur, that's not the patella. Then we're over. Then we'll hit the patella. Right, the outer edge. Do you see where I mark it? Do I need to come down and make sure I'm on camera again? Yeah, it's right up in there, taller. Could bring that down a little bit. There we go. So you see that condyle here. Okay, that's important to see. This is the condyle. Here's just the shadow on the condyle. This is the, the rectus femoris, and that's going to sheath over this way. Just a little bit, you get some nice dark in through here for now that we see. Then we're going to come over, sheath over, sheath over, rectus femoris, the end of it, in through here, and she's in a lot of shadow. This is going to be the inner part of the medialis. So the medialis is going to be over here, right? Right into here. Rectus femoris would actually end a little bit before that, roughly, in through here. So let me draw what we don't really see, which is more diagrammatic, and let me clean it up with the dark here, right in through here. So you can see that over and through there and over to the top of the patella right in through there. And this cleans up for the rectus femoris right in through there. Then the, the muscle, we're in the, uh, the uh, flatter uh, uh, medial side of it. So it gets flat here and over and then we'll start to attach back up and over. So we get this kind of creasing in through there. See that crease? That really creases up and in through here. That's part now of the the uh, adductors. And through here and over, get some creasing 
in through here, skin creasing and up and through and over. Make that really bulge. Okay, this is really coming through. This is a little bit of the semi-tendinous membranous. Back through the, to the uh, end there of the pubic symphysis. Okay. <clears throat> Let me make this a little cleaner right there. Back and drawing into the rectus for more respect to the pubic vaginal, vaginal region. Okay, so we have that. So now we can come on over here and feel this over, this upper leg. This is the side of the box now, side of the box. Here's the top of the box, here's the side of the box. This is all side shaved down, here's the opposite side of the condyle, right after the light, the condyle, right after the light in through here. Coming back over, that's where the gracilis, remember the sartorius, want to connect and we get a little bit of uh, subcutaneous fat in there, just in these creases, which is nice. It's not too muscular, so we can see some of that happening in through there. And so that's all the side of the, of the muscle form. This, this all turns down like so, like so, of the muscle in through there. So I want to feel this crease now where the gastrocnemius comes in and touches the back of the semi-tendinous of the back of the leg in through here, and then down and it gets a little flatter and then disappears a little bit up in through there. There's a cash shadow. I'm not going to shade this because that way I want you to see all that in through that area. I want to come back and check this here. This stays a little flatter, longer. And then we look how this bulges. So this biceps femoris is so bulky for so long and then it just jams into its tendon. And this tendon gets has a tendency to get really straight. So it's really, see that pulling through there? Amazing. Really right in through, right in through there, that pull. So I'll kind of show you that as that works back towards there. There, okay, we're at the top here, and over. That's it, and underneath. Okay, we're coming through. I'll just get a little bit of this shading in through here. So let's go back up now this top thigh. So we're working the thigh area, coming through the, the condyle of the patella. Okay, up and through. In over, we get some of the condyle ridges of the patella in through here and downward. We see that. It's kind of those little dots and dashes. This divots in just a little bit, and then we get into the tibia fibia region. So we won't see the fibia in this view, but we'll see the tibia. And now we get some of the bulk that we want to get out of this. So we've got our gesture coming down. I'm going to continue to look at the gesture where that heel hits, roughly in through here. I'm just going to triangulate it out because I'm not going to draw much more past the foot in through here. Just get a gesture coming on down. Just get a reasonable gesture. And we'll get the rest of the, the uh, lower leg and calf area. Otherwise, we'll be here a long time. So, calf, gastrocnemius, get the overall shape. This whole thing is a tube, right? Coming down to the, the inner medial, right? Malleolus, so the ankle roughly right in through here. We can mark that. So we see this coming over, kissing together cupping together against the thigh, down to soleus here. So let's come back up and feel this calf egg, this gastrocnemius, all the way over through to the tibia, right, which is here, of the end of the gastroc, right, against that, okay, and then the outside we start to feel what? We feel more of the femur, but also the tibialis anterior. So see how this bulks out, comes here, in down and over it gives it a little bit more bulkiness okay, even though it's kind of a flat muscle we want to see that so I'm going to turn this leg also just a little bit of contour shading so we I'm not going to shade it full so we see that directional flow of that I think that's important to see <clears throat> so we see that Ryan you with me okay good and come in through here a little bit I want to shade this region a little bit further, right in through there. And so now we come down here, we've got that break now, the soleus, to the gastrocnemius, where it gets a little bit bulgy and bulkier. So they're both together, 
right? And so look how the gastrocnemius head here, this medial head, touches and comes right on in now to the tibia. See how that little shape of shading, it makes a triangle right in through there, then up and we come on over around, right? You see that? You come through here, right on through in here, then it gets very boxy. This is the side plane coming through like so. We top it over and that's why the light's there because the light's hitting it at 45. This gets in shadow, okay? Right in through there. So let me show you that crease here, here, and then through, okay? And then over, and then creased over again, creasing the crease, and through here, and around. Okay, so we have that. So we've got that going for us. And so we're just looking at this shape, and the rest of it here, all this is just shadow coming down to give us that ball-like, oval-like, teardrop-like shape, however you want to say it. Could be a little bit bulkier there, right in through there, so I'll hit that in through there to give us that really lovely appearance of the calf turning, or the gastrocnemius turning. See it really turning this way, so it's good to see that. The contouring of that coming coming on through, and let's get on down now to the end of the soleus, tibialis interior. Here now we're on hard hard bone coming down, right, and then we get a little bulkiness over through here, tibialis interior coming out, right in through there, maybe a little bit of the extensor, but not a whole lot, and then we start to see tendon coming over to the top of that foot. So we're going to come over here and that would bulge out here to get to this other part of the toe. And we're just going to leave it like that for now. We're just going to mark the toe where it would be there. Because I want to feel this malleolus coming through here. So we now on the end of this area where the gastrocnemius touches the semitendinous membranous area. They don't really split apart. The biggest areas here. Now we have adductors over here, right? So let's don't forget them. So they would be emerging now. Get this line coming here. Get this line coming across. And roughly where this crease is, is the adductor area in through and over in this area too, where you get the pectineus area coming through and maybe a little bit of longest, but they'll be back up and sheathing back up into here. A lot of subcutaneous fat. I'm gonna mark a little area where I think could be marked just a touch right in through there to help, to help see that. But the rest of that's really in shadow. I'm gonna leave it for now. So we'll come back up here, okay? Come on over. Oops, in through here, don't like that line. Come on down and through. And then we're going to hit, now get into the malleolus on the inside, right in through here. So we'll come on through, and the attachment of the Achilles tendon over through here, okay, from a three-quarter, kind of moving towards the front just a little bit, is about right in through here to now the condyle, or the, well, not the condyle, but the calcaneus bone, excuse me, up in through here and over. Okay, and the rectus femoris would be over a bit higher. Get through there. Get through. <clears throat> here and through here, a little bit lower and a little bit center. I don't like that line, so we'll go in through here. We'll just start to shade in through there, shade that down. And then we get the feeling now that medial condyle. Okay, on this side, through here, around and through here, okay, around and up and over. Here on the lateral side is where all the attention is. And we start to get the tibialis now interior, okay, pulling in through here and around. And this kind of makes this boxier form up and through all that, pulling this way through. We see all this is kind of a box of material right in through there with a little bit now. The calcaneus ending here, 
right underneath here. You know, this is the, the underneath part talus on top here. We'll get into that a little later than the fifth and so on. And we're coming down, not the fifth, but the first, sorry, of the uh, metatarsals coming in through here. This will sheath down a little bit thinner and over. And you can see that structure start to, to emerge on through. And I'll leave, start to leave this unshaded a little bit and see that. See that through, right through here, form shadow, just nice and through where that really turns in through here and comes over. This is so important where it splits, really splits from the tibia, where that attaches over to the soleus and certainly the gastrocnemius too as well. Very strong, very strong area in through these regions. Now let's come down now and let's work on the inner thigh or outer thigh here, the lateral side here. Let's start to work that area over here. And now we're coming down to the glute bicep femoris through here. And we're going to start to work down the condyle of the femur, the outside edge. Lateral edge coming through here by uh, rectus, not rectus, yeah, the uh, uh, rectus, excuse me, rectus femoris, excuse me, rectus femoris in through here, over, you can see it come on over here, right in through this little area, okay, this is not the lateral, this is rectus femoris here, sheathing over, it kind of tops out here, okay, and then it moves down, ends over, in through here and all this wants to turn doesn't it like that it really starts to force its way in through this region and then we get the lateralis area back up and through and over really force that shadow like so <clears throat> so i'll get this edge a little bit that shadow here more Stress in the lateralis. Of course, the iliotibial tract is coming down and through here a little bit. You really don't see it here. Bulges here a little bit, maybe. And of course, that's going to attach the medial part. And then you get the biceps from Morris down and through. And through there. Pretty fascinating little area, too, as well. So, really turning away here and over and kind of heading up and kind of coming together right in through right in through there all right so let's take now and let's get into now the lower leg condyle right top coming down don't really see the patella we could feel it a little bit here can't we right through there, but on the other side, okay. <clears throat> Get toe in through there. So we have that. <clears throat> and we feel now this form over here. We feel the extensor right in through here and the tibialis interior right over in through here tibialis anterior, and we see that both of them over here on the, now the front side, what's happening here now is, as we come through here, we always see the straightening of past the patella, past the kneeling points of the tibia, right? We see now this area always bulges a little bit, gives us this bulkier lower head of what we think is just the calf. We can we include the calf as this front area of the tibialis anterior and the extensor digitalis uh, digitorum um, longus, extensor digitorum longus. When in reality, we're probably just talking about the gastrocnemius and the soleus. So we come here, right in through here. Let's get a little edge. And through here, the tendon on the other side, but then it becomes just all gastroc 
here really bulging out so we see this all the way through right coming through heading in through and so the med the middle part of the heads are right here on the edge right in through here okay and then here this is the lateral one so it's the lower one the medial keeps on going the lateral will come on out and you can see it come on over and then you see this little line not little but this kind of dense little it's not hard and it's not a hard edge but it's, but it's not too t it's not soft but it's bulging out we have the difference now between the end of the soleus and the gastrocnemius and the beginning of the longus right right in through attaching up in through here and then we have this longus right here we see that coming through and over this is cast shadow right through there so we'll categorize that now with a with a how do I know that's a cast shadow with the edge you have to know about that if you don't know that you got to go back and study your your beginning drawing right in through here and over okay and then we'll come through mm -hmm. like so <clears throat> and so this is all this whole area here is all shadow okay so we have that all right so we're seeing that we come through and then we get to the lateral part of the head of the gastroc in through here And so now we get the fibialis longus separating here, which is nice to see. And then it separates to itself and then a little bit of the tibialis anterior and also the extensor digitorum longus as well. How about learning all these and drawing and having to say them? <laughs> oh man, it's fun. It's fun. And I should, I better know them. I've been doing it a while. I'm going to put a little dark in this trochanter pocket. This doesn't look right without a little dark. A little core shadow because this is coming over like so. There we go. Just so we can feel that bulging on through there. Now, <clears throat> We've got to keep going. So the end of the head of the gastrocnemius, right? Coming on down, we got the gesture here. If we see this, we see the toe pointed a little bit. So that means there the extensors are working. And we come down right in here. This is kind of the, like my active diagram, this kind of point of the foot. Right, you see that? This is going to be tilting up. Look at the angle now of the foot. So we have all this working for us right in through, in through here and over. And of course the toes point back that way and around and then the, the big toe wants to well we don't even see the big toe but we have to come in through here here's the fifth right look at that bulge that's right in there that little oval see the fifth the end of the fifth tuberosity so the fifth metatarsal tuberosity we know it's about right here in between the end really coming down here to the pinky toe right in through here as it kind of turns turns in and over so in between that and then the calcaneus part of our um, uh, area of the Achilles right so this bulges this part of the solus gets bigger right in through there so underneath we can kind of go in through here so all of this now wants to pull this wants to pull away from the fibia this is the fibia here tibia is over here where they're kind of connected in this view and it really wants to pull away and say I want to do my own thing and I want to go to the Achilles heel and hang out with my buddies so drink a little beer no I'm teasing don't drink it yeah hang out and come over here and come on down here right and then we get this creasing of the skin a little flexible skin coming around with flexible skin coming around and over Coming around there and flexing up underneath, and then we got the bony part, and all this is the tendon of the Achilles. Achilles down in through here, and this just kind of gets bumped through here and around and over, and then it wants to come over and block, right? Blocking. Now it comes up over like this, 
But since we have pads on it, cartilage and fat pads, it's going to do something like that. And then we get into that fifth. Now, let's get now from the fibia here. We're going to mark this really nicely up in through here, about right in through here. And there's a little bump in through here, too. The muscle starts, but the fibia is up in through here, all the way to now the malleolus. So down through into here of that malleolus. It's not in the middle, it's pushed over a little bit. And see that tendon coming in through this little, looks like a vein, but it's not, it's a tendon, it's the brevis. It's the brevis, the fibi, uh, fibialis brevis. And through here, and that will separate, you can see it a little bit further here and over. Okay, right in through to here. All right, and then that gets into the extensor, longest, the digitorum longus, and of course the uh, the tibialis anterior. But we're in through here, really bulky. Gives you that bulky path. Oh, this is like an egg. We see that. We're gonna get that egg, egg form really strong in through there, right in through here. And there, that's a big strong mark, right in through here. You separate to if you make a little contour line, you get contour in between. They'd be like this, just a little separate on through. Okay, rhythm in through here. Then we have this back in through here. There's a little bit of a spatial void, just a little bit. It's got material back there. A little bit of a spatial void in through there and around. Okay, see that <clears throat> pad through here. Now, it's coming underneath the, the um, lateral malleolus, which is right through here, which is a fancy way of saying your ankle, your outer ankle, your lateral malleolus. How cool would you sound when you're going to say that to your friends from now on? I'm going to be very impressed with you, very impressed here. I don't know if they'll be impressed, but uh, I'll, I'll be impressed. How about that? That's important. Maybe. Up and around and over, and it just makes its way on, kind of bulges on through onto this little area. Onto that fifth. Kind of right like, like that in that view. And this continues to bulk here, and this goes over, and I'm going to end the foot part of it right in through there. So let's go... Let me get a little bit darker line in some of these areas to kind of fill this up a little bit. Here and through here, so we have a nice final study coming on. Maybe this foot's a little bit, a little bit longer. See the toe. Just mark gesturally this the little tone of where the toe would be. I'm going to get into all that. It's going to take another while. down here. I'm going to put a little bit of contour around that oblique area where that crest is, hugging on that. And through here, white line, linea, holba, of the rectus abdominis side of that. And through here. Coming up and over. through. <clears throat> we'll get a little bit of that darker through here. Up. I'll clean that over to the malleolus of the medial area. We'll get to the tibialis anterior. There we go. And I think we've got just about everything now we need. I could put a little bit of light on here. I could sit here and clean up with this all day. Have fun with it, but that's enough on camera. Maybe a little bit of the, but yeah, we get a little bit of that patella sneaking. See that sneaky thing sneaking through, right up into there, right up into there. <clears throat> Kill out this line a little bit. Beefy quality of the inner glutes. I'm just drawing what the model gives me now. 
in addition to what I know, we're combining those things. It makes a living anatomy. What we know with what we see, what's there, trying to be faithful to what's there, what's going on. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn this little calf shadow into here. Around. So you can see that very controlled kind of drawing. We don't always have to draw so controlled. There we go. Into here. All right. So let me add a little bit of light here. Just a touch. Maybe so the top of the rectus femoris over here now to the area just right in through here let me clean this up a little bit to the end of the tensor fossa lata well the three finger gap area through here there we go run it through here now underneath to the side and this, this area is the end of the crest of the pelvis. I'll bring this out a little bit. You can see that. Bring it out further and then let it die. Inside here, as it comes around. Okay, right in through there. The rectus femoris above that. Then I want to get rid of this line a little bit, this gesture. Oh, there was a tuberosity of the of the pubic synthesis in through here. I need to get rid of that a little bit so I can we can see through there and then get a little bit of contouring, and that's where the light will go. And then we'll get out of here. This will conclude now the upper, really the lower leg anatomy, but it wound up being upper too. So I'll just come across this, even if it gets a little dirty, just to give us a little hatched look. And through here and around, over, and then right in this little lovely area, and through here. Turn that around. You might see a little light through here. Through there, and that's nicely good enough. Maybe the inner, inner calf and through here. Up at the top of the B condyles. And I think that's enough. That's enough for me. Okay, there you go. All right, so that concludes our living anatomy section. I hope you got something deeply out of it. Copy these and draw along with me. And then when you feel confident, go on your own and recreate from uh, other photographs and other reference material, hopefully a live model, really, in your classrooms and add to your knowledge. A lot can be done from master studies and drawing from others, but then ultimately, too, the fun of it is to get in front of others, too. Other models, too, as well. That's part of, part of the good, good part of it. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys uh, soon with the next lesson, which will be starting in now on the feet. There might be some go-find-it techniques I might do a little bit as well. But otherwise, take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.